Hey guys, Alex the Rail Finning Redneck here. I'm watching a dude called. His name is BNSF9382. He's an awesome model railroader. You need to check out his channel. Shout out to you, BNSF9382. Um, yeah. So, we have a new model train video. It's not rolling stock. I'm sure people have gotten bored out of their minds. They're expecting, when's Alex the Rail Finning Redneck going to upload a locomotive video? Well, I have a locomotive video that has over 150,000 views. It's of my Atherin CSX GP40-2. So, let's try to recreate another video that gets a lot of views. So, let's take a look at the box. Atherin, the future of model railroading. Ah, the future model running right there. The quality seal. $89.99. DCC ready. But here it is. It's the Athern Grand Trunk Western EMD ZP38-2. But, unlike other Grand Grand Trunks, this is very American. I love this thing. This is the best locomotive I probably have. And the most patriotic. It complements this this hopper car, or the hopper car complements it. I got these two at a yard sale together. This was 20 bucks, and this was 10 bucks, so that was a pretty good deal. Of course, the guy had to scratch off the main price to not deceive anybody uh, or put a marker through it. But yeah, this thing is amazing. Love the Eagle, love the GT, love the Stars. This thing is very patriotic. This is, you, you would, out of all the railroads, you'd be surprised if I had Grand Trunk on here, right? But it's a beautiful locomotive, very patriotic. I love this thing. Compliments good conservative railroaders like me. So, yeah. That's going to be really cool. That's going to be really cool. A little bit of wear on it, but yeah. This is an awesome, awesome locomotive. Um, so, enough rambling. Let's get into an in-depth feature overview. And yeah, this video will be longer than a rolling stock video because I love going off about locomotives. So, let's get the feature. <clears throat> All right, guys. So, let's do a feature overview of this locomotive. Here at the front, here at the front, we have the very front of the hood is blue with three stars on it. Really, really nice. Pretty American flag like. Um, black walkway colored, which is also pretty cool. We have the Leslie RS3 horn, standard on most Athern Spartan cab locomotives. 1776, that's the number. And that's also the year that America was formed. How cool is that? Pretty, pretty good black line perimeters around the windows there. We got operating headlight, and that's all that we got. I, th I don't I think this is a sand filler and it's a grab iron on the hood right there there's also these nice handrails that are white and you have the have the, the front bottom right here with black and white stripes with the standard with the McHenry coupler all Atherin vehicles all Atherin railroad stuff has this Moot, nice and some nice there's three steps going on to the front of the deck. Safety chain here with the railing. N nothing fancy. This is a ready to roll after all, but it's still really nice. Moving on to the side of the locomotive. The window does not open up, nor should it, because that's just more stuff to break. Um, has the F, I think that's what the plate is. And there's some sort of label under here. I'm not exactly sure what it says. But yeah, right there is the where you put the fuel in. You got very nicely detailed trucks right here. The GP40, I think, has the same. Um, I think that's the breaker box. Or some sort of a switch. Or some sort of electrical box cabinet doors down here they do not open nice logo there the 1776 printed out nice continuing you have the air intake here and the exhaust here not sure what the hump right here is for all gp 38s have that nice stars on the blue side body with the eagle that's the face of an eagle and the gt same letter styling as cn and cn took over gt so that explains it nice handrails on here um detailed cabinet doors that go to the engine radiator and stuff here's the radiator nicely detailed 
with two radiator fans and this little bar or around the around the back fan whatever that's for um let's turn this tv down a little bit and um you have two exhaust stacks unlike the gp40 and others that have one exhaust stack this one has two and this actually comes off but there's no dynamic braking set up like what the gp40-2 has so it's going to be harder to take that thing off you can it is DCC compatible, so you can put your standard eight plug decoder in. Nice three thousand gallon fuel tank, I think, and a nice air tank too for the horns and brakes and all that stuff. The rear truck is really good, nicely detailed. Brakes are under there. Go. Um, nice walkway. Here, there's no tread. It's not like what the Genesis locomotives and other stuff have. Nice rivets on there. And you got rivets around the radiator fan area here. Um, whatever this thing is, not sure what that thing is. It's on the side of most EMDs. And you have this box right here. We're not sure what that's for, but I'm sure if you do in the comments, someone's going to say what it is. Moving on to the back, you got nice nice detail separately applied grab irons more 1776 number lights and the the rear headlights or the rear light um and then you have the McHenry coupler on the back side too with the detail with decent handrails with the with the chain on there's no marker lights this isn't a conrail or anything else they have the little, you have the little water sight glass that makes it a DAS-2 unit. I'm sure there's others, but that's what makes it a DAS-2 unit as far as I know. Another fuel, fuel filler intake, and another air, another air tank. Stay same detail on the other side of these trucks right here. And yes, I did put TXAX. That was, that would have been a reporting mark of our racing company, which is pretty cool. So. Top of the locomotive, not sure what this thing is, not sure what the hump is for, but yeah, you can get a better look at the top of the locomotive. At the bottom, it's just pretty basic, not nothing special. You got these screws here to take the fuel tank out. You have these things that can be you know, interested in a flathead into four of these, and that's what takes the body off. You got the four axles with electrical pickup on all of them, all wheel drive as it should be. Yeah. That's enough of a feature overview. We're going to take this locomotive on the tracks and test it out, which will be also pretty cool. Can't wait to see how that's going to go. Yeah. All right, we have got this locomotive on the track. This is going to be cool. So let's go over here. Oh, the knots, the knots gauge is starting to fade away oh yeah the locomotive is moving you can very faintly see the headlight activate so maybe if we turned up a little bit there we go pretty nice cruising speed looks like about 25 miles an hour maybe 30 speed up just a little bit All right, <clears throat> it's going to go through through the junction. Very realistic sounding. Turned up a little bit and let's put on full. So yeah, it's not really fast, but oh well, it's not a Genesis, so. Let's once it go through here. It's like that big beautiful American flag heading over there. So start slowing it down. I'm looking good. 
Now, let's go backwards, or as foamers call it, long hood forward, but seriously, if it's not a logical phrase. Like, I mean, if a car's going backwards, would you call it rear end forward? Like, come on, seriously, it's forward and reverse. There we go. Enough ranting. Let's get this thing going backwards a little bit. That rear headlight's really getting a good job. Lighting. And there it goes right there. And yes, it goes just as fast in reverse as it does going forward. Let's watch it come over. That's not me. That's the controller that does that. So, we're going to hook up a train to it. And have them give it a workout by pulling cars around. Stay tuned. All right, so we have, oh, all right, so we have another car added because there's some couple of issues with the locomotive. So let's pull this train forward again. Ooh, look at that. Good thing I got that. There we go, pull forward grand trunk. Yeah, that's a couple of you right there. I know it's going to separate again. And surprisingly, it didn't. Here's the train. Well, let's get this train running here. And the back is a railbox car. Oh, this train again. And here the train comes again. So, let's watch this train come again, this time across the grade crossing. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I made of the Athern Grand Trunk EMD GP38-2 number 1776, one of the, probably my favorite locomotive so far. Um, but that's not all. There's going to be another locomotive video on Christmas, because this video is supposed to be uploaded on Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas Eve. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like on it comment and if you comment maybe send a request and maybe i'll get it and and review it for y'all um yeah and if you're a new viewer definitely subscribe and check out my other model railroading videos um but that video is out this is alex the oh,